Hey guys, Mark here. Today I'm going to show you five useful tricks and tips for pen tool. Pen tool is a tool available for us across the whole Affinity family. So you can use pen tool in Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo and also in Affinity Publisher. So tips from this video will be helpful in all three programs. I post two tutorials like this every week. So if you think this is something that will benefit you, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. All right, let's get started. Here I am in Affinity Designer, but as I mentioned, you can use those tips and tricks across the whole Affinity suite. So here we are, our first trip for today. Turn on rubber band mode. So let me just show you the default pen tool. I select pen tool on my list here on the left side. You can see it straight away in Affinity Designer and Affinity Publisher. In Affinity Photo, sometimes it's hidden below. No tool is in the same group, so it's white cursor. All right, I got my pen tool here. Let's set up a stroke color. All right, seems I am ready to use my pen tool. And as you can notice here at the very top of the page, I got pen tool set up in pen mode and that's it. That's the default setup. So when I start using pen tool, I will be clicking to add points. I do not draw lines. The line will not follow my pen tool, right? That's why this tool is not intuitive for beginners because the line appear between two points. And we can also click to show handles that will bend the line. All right, so this is default pen mode we all know about, but we can use this one simple trick and turn on rubber band mode. So at the top, we got pen mode and there's also rubber band mode over here. You can turn it on and then you will see this preview. So that's more intuitive because now we see where the line will be after we click second time. And I can see preview again. And same for the curve lines. Take a look. Now I see the preview, how the line will curve based on the previous handle set. Of course, this is not final. If I click and drag, I will make this line a different curve. But if I just click, this will be exactly line they show me in the preview. So that's really handy in my opinion to turn on this rubber band mode. It will not affect how the tool act or anything. Just giving you this nice live preview of the next line. So it's over here at the top. It's called rubber band mode. All right. Second tip is to simply hold command if you need no tool. No tool is the one that can fix your mistakes when you're using pen tool, right? So by default, no tool is here on the tool panel, this white cursor in my case. So if I, let's say, draw some shape using pen tool and then I des decide I need to move something or I notice that I make mistake, I can simply click on the node and drag it to new position, right? But to do that, I need to finish using pen tool and switch to node tool. You can do it while you're using pen tool just by pressing command. Take a look. So I'm drawing, drawing, drawing with pen tool. And now I notice, oh, I make a mistake here. I simply press down command or control on Windows. And then I can move this, adjust that, release command. And I continue with pen tool without switching tools. That's really handy. I don't know how about you guys, but I make mistakes all the time while tracing with pen tool. So it's super handy for me. Okay, just hold it down, adjust this a little bit and continue. So that's really nice. All right, so hold command for quick note tool. Tip number three, try smart mode. So while you are in pen tool, normally it's set up to pen mode. But there's also something called smart mode or next to it. If you change to smart mode, you will be not clicking and dragging to make a curve. 
the smart board will try to make a curve for you so this way you can trace your objects and the line try to smooth itself in this mode you will need to place more nodes than normally you would do with pen tool so this is for kind of rough tracing let me zoom in as you can see this line is not like polygon line it's not completely straight line so the smart mode try to smooth the line for you based on your nodes without you dealing with handles so that's something i will say like happy medium between pencil tool and pen tool for people that are not ready to use pen tool in the pen mode so you can try smart mode first maybe all right tip number four hold option for split direction handles so what are split direction handles when i use pen tool wait a moment let's go back to pen mode all right when i use pen tool i got handles and they are like on the left and the right side of the node and normally they try to balance themselves so they're balancing themselves you see when i move one the other one is moving anyway but in some rare cases we want to move only one side if you got very sharp turn for example you can do that by holding options so if i click here and then i click here and now i hold option on my keyboard on mac i can move this handle independently and the other one is frozen in the previous position and this can give me some very sharp turns like this one all right so i can make very very sharp turns like i just did here by splitting the direction of the handle in one node point let me select this node point you see both handles going to one direction giving me this very sharp turn here you can also do it with a node tool actually so if you got existing shape like this and then you use node tool on it like here you can move nodes right but they are moving all together again so if you want to do it just one by one you can hold option and then you can move your nodes only on one side so that's also something that you can do using node tool just hold option and you can split direction of your handles all right and the last tip for this video line mode we don't have a like line tool in our shape tool menu sometimes some programs got line here so you can draw simple line we don't have something like this but we got line mode inside pen tool so this is the last mode here in this mode you will be drawing lines and now take a look i click here but i didn't connect to the previous point i draw a new line and then again new line new line here new line here so i'm simply drawing lines and i don't need to deselect or anything because the tool allow me to only draw one set of nodes two nodes connected with one line all right so this is line mode for pen tool for drawing simple lines quickly all right guys i hope you like those tips that pen tool can be a little bit difficult at first but it's really worth the effort to learn how to use it this way you can draw any custom shape you can tra trace any custom vector object for your needs and also as i mentioned all three software required you to know some pen tools so affinity designer photo and publisher all use the same good pen tool all right guys thank you for today and i will see you in my next tutorial bye